How's it going everyone? It's Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video. In this one we have a product from TCL. This is the TCL Nextwear G. It's spelt NXT, so I'm guessing it's Nextwear. Uh, but this was teased back in CES 2021 and uh, finally we can get hands on with it and actually see what it's all about. And no, this is not a VR goggle, it's not AR goggle, it's literally just uh, an extension, a display extension for your device, for smartphones and laptops. I leave all the compatible, about 100 devices that's actually compatible with this. I'll put it on the screen right now so you guys can check that out. So if you're looking to purchase one of these, you actually know if it's gonna work with your smartphone or laptop alike. So let's get into it. In the packaging, you get the goggle itself. So you get the NX Wear, uh, Next Wear G itself, which is there. And then you also get a couple of things as well. So you get the case, so the carry case, which is, really solid, so it will keep your device nice and secure. It's got Velcro straps inside to keep it safe as well. And then underneath uh, the top, there's a layer there where you get your cleaning cloth. You're gonna need that as well, I'll explain why. And you've also got some custom fitting lens as well, adapter, so you can use that to custom fit uh, the lens as well, so it fits your face properly. And then you get some spare nose bridges as well, so you get a couple in here that you can use. So depending on your nose size or the bridge size of your nose, you can wear the right one so they're actually really comfortable and you can wear them for a prolonged period of time. One thing to do bear in mind though is this is uh, not that soft. Um, it's it's kind of rigid to make it stay on your nose bridge uh, properly for a long period of time. And everywhere else as well is quite kind of hard material. So with that in mind, if you're gonna be wearing this for a long period of time, you might start to feel the fatigue on your face, which is kind of normal when it comes to eyewears and stuff like that. So I won't worry too much about that. So this has two Full HD Micro OLED uh, from Sony in there. So this will give you a perspective, a display perspective, of 140 inches or uh, 140 inch. Uh, so you can actually get this immersive view. And when you plug it into your device, you can have a PC mode, like I've got a TCL smartphone that I plug this in to test it out. You can have a PC mode or you can have mobile mode. So in PC mode, you get a nice desktop view where you can control it using your, your smartphone as a mouse kind of thing and keyboard as well. So you can use that as well. What's great about this is you can plug it into your laptop as well. So it's, it's, that, it's that thing where, I don't know if it's useful or not, but it's something where if you actually wanna just take your hands off your laptop for a bit and just watch something, this will become useful. The use case scenario for me that I see this is when we can travel again, I'll be able to watch movies on the go, on the flight. So I can just plug this into my lap on my phone or my laptop and I can watch a movie and just be immersed in that view. What's also great as well is this is open fit. So I look up to see the display that gets uh, projected for me, but I can also look down and still see what's going on around me. So if it's that I need to eat at the same time on the flight, for example, I can wear this and still be able to eat. For example, if I'm wearing this during this video, I can still see the lens even though you guys might think this is on my face, I'm looking at the lens right now and I can still see what I'm doing throughout this video. With the cable attached to the frame on the back as well, this can be uncomfortable at times. So because that's got a loop like so over your ear, so sometimes you have to kind of wear it properly to make sure that it fits on your ear when you're wearing it like that. But other than that, other qualms I've got with this though is that the front glossy display there becomes easily scratched as well. So I've got a couple of scratches on there. Sorry TCL, this has got to go back to them. Uh, but yeah, I've got a couple of scratches on there already just by having it in my, just around the office. Um, so that's something to bear in mind as well. This weighs just 130 grams, so it's not heavy at all. It's pretty lightweight, even with the cable attached and it's plug and play, it's powered by your smartphone or laptop. And you've got a decent size length uh, of cable as well, so it's not it's not short at all. I think it's a decent size, especially if you're gonna be using it with something that's directly in front of you, like your smartphone or something. You can even have your smartphone in your pocket if you like, and still watch a movie, for example, whilst you're out and about. In terms of refresh rate, you will get 60 hertz refresh rate on this. I haven't tried it with gaming yet, so I guess when you're gaming on this, you'll get really good quality as well. I think 60 hertz is just about right. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that at all. In terms of the field of view, this will give you 47 degrees field of view, and you also get something called 47 degrees pixel per degree, because this doesn't give you a PPI in terms of sharpness and stuff because you get a perspe display perspective, uh, which makes sense. And that's competitive in the grand scheme of things and when you compare this to what else is on the market right now. This is 16 by nine in terms of aspect ratio. And like I said already, 1080p, so full, H full HD, you are getting a really good display as well. I really enjoy using this actually. It's something that um, I get a lot of gadgets sent through and sometimes um, most of them I don't want to keep just because there's no need. But this is probably one of the few things that I've received that I felt like asking them if I can keep it afterwards. Uh, otherwise, I think I'm gonna actually buy one myself and hopefully when we can travel again, 
we can actually start wearing something like this. It's got uh, stereo speakers as well, so dual speakers. So when you put it on, it's got sound as well. Although I'll probably still use my Bluetooth headphones with my smartphone and listen to audio that way to be, to be fully immersed. One of the things at the start when I said about the cleaning cloth is the fact that this attracts the grease and sweat on your face. Let me see if I can get that to focus. There we go. So you can see that there, uh, it's caught the the sweat on, on my forehead. I don't even sweat that much, but the little bit of oil, oily face bit that's there is kind of attract that straight away. And also the, the actual display themselves, the glass air attracts lint uh, very easily. So you need that cleaning cloth to give it a quick wipe and you can wear it again and you're good to go. But overall, I think it's a great device. Um, I think the use case scenario for this would be to watch movies, have an external display for your smartphone or something like that. Um, and yeah, I think it's a great device. If there's anything I'd need to say about it, like I said, the scratches on there. And uh, yeah, I'll leave all relevant links in the description area so you guys can check it out for more for yourself um, and you can do your own research. But if you have any questions about it, though, while I've still got it, drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer your questions. But yeah, in the meantime, if this is your first time on the channel, please do subscribe, smash the like button, share it as well, and ding that bell notification so every time I upload a new video like this, you get to be one of the first people to know when it gets uploaded. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.